Hey friends and welcome back to this Fretted Friday and in today's show we will discuss the £35,000 or US dollar copy Les Paul guitar coming right up. Before we get started, I was meant to show you an update on the Harley Benton double cut guitar just over my shoulder. However, I'm still waiting on the information back from Toman, and so we'll do this video as soon as I get the information we need. Today, I want to tell you about the 35,000 pound Gibson Les Paul 59 burst copy that's currently selling at another top reputable UK dealership. Following my recent videos covering the white collar fakes openly for sale, I've had so many messages and links sent to me by you guys, and thanks very much for that, showing me more white collar fakes and also quite a lumber of traditional Chinese knockoffs. It seems the fake trade is very much alive and kicking, and what's more, I'm really amazed to see links being sent to so many white collar fakes. I hadn't expected that the sale of these was quite so open and widespread. It's often joked that Gibson made around 1,500 bursts between 1958 and 1960, and that only 2,000 of them survive. That's the joke that keeps burst fans awake at night. And if you don't get it, well, such a valuable guitar is inevitably the target of fakers. So the original run of around 1,500 has been, shall we say, supplemented by quite a lot of forgeries. It's one of those jokes designed not so much to make you laugh, but rather to make you think. Today, we're going to check out a white collar fake by another of the high-end custom luthiers who were renowned for making copies of the infamous 59 Burst. Peter Max Baronet is widely held as one of, if not the best builder of fake 59 Bursts. And his reputation goes far and wide with many famous folks seeking his guitar building expertise. The list includes Slash, Eddie Van Halen and Zach Wilde to name a few. But why is that? Max was a true stickler, always true to the original formula for building Les Paul guitars that Gibson used in that classic period from 58 to 60. A style of building that not even Gibson can reproduce today. And why is that? Well, first of all, Gibson Burst had very unique body wood. It was old Honduran mahogany, and this wood in itself was really, really old, even back in the 50s when they were originally built. At that stage, the wood was over 100 years old, so it was incredibly well seasoned and dried out over decades. And that wood is completely gone now, but Max had a source of it, and all his guitars are built using it. The second thing is glue. Back then, in 59, animal hide glues were used to glue the four parts of the Les Paul together those four parts being the neck, the fretboard, the body, and of course the maple cap. These old hide glues had much better penetration into the woods than modern equivalent glues. What's more, they hardened much more than modern types. Some say that they harden like glass. Now this combination of penetration and hardening means that the four parts of the burst guitars consolidated as if they were one solid piece of wood. Almost anyone who knows these guitars and chases that tone will tell you that the bursts resonate like no other guitar. Thirdly, Max always used the original formula nitro finish. Modern nitrocellulose lacquers have added plasticizers that make them a little bit softer, and so they never really completely harden. However, the original formula nitro did cure completely within a couple of weeks and dried as hard as glass too. And this combined with just enough of the nitro to cover the guitar means that a Max copy will also resonate like a 1959 did. Thank you. 
Finally, Max Bursts usually come with original old stock hardware from his private collection from Uncle Lou. Everything from bridges and tuners to the original spec wiring, and also occasionally models have a legitimate 59 PAFs to PAF pickups. And where they haven't, they've got very, very close replacements. These are all traits of the Bursts that every Max guitar shares with the originals. Perhaps that's why Max is often regarded so highly and why 59 obsessed fans seek him out as the next best thing to an original. Well, this fretted Friday, we can see evidence of just what a Peter Max Baronet guitar is worth these days. Very recently, I found one sold on Reverb.com for a cool 20,000 Canadian dollars, and that was without the pickups. The advert states that you can rarely find a Max for under $15,000. But that's not even close to the Max Baronet guitar for sale at Edgware Music in London. Here, we see a guitar that is selling for a cool 35,000 pounds, or dollar equivalent of 44,000 US dollars. And this guitar has parts taken from the Slash Max, also used on the Appetite for Destruction album by Guns N' Roses. Max is less well known than Chris Derrick for providing Slash with additional fake 59 Les Pauls for the recording of that album, as well as many live shows. Max states that it's possible that he put Slash's paths from the Slash Max guitar into this particular replacement that he built for the burst he sold Slash for the album recording. The Edgeware Music listing states, Max has emailed us to say that the, he built this guitar has his own personal guitar to replace the Max Burst with a 60s neck that he sold to Slash for the recording of the Appetite for Destruction album. So, here we are. This is uh, Slash's rack, his favorite guitars, etc. Now for close-ups. It's been well recorded on various sites that vintage parts were removed and Max has said it's probable that they went into the build of this one. Can you show me yours again? You did it too fast. Rotate it into the light. Here's Thank the you. Max replica. Rotate it. 1960 Max. Rotate it. There you go. Well, let me see what these frets are. Oh, so these are original frets, wow. She has an old growth Honduran mahogany body with Eastern maple top and old growth Brazilian rosewood board with original nitrate inlays. The pickups are genuine PAFs and all parts and hardware are from the 56 to 60 Gibson years. The Gibson hard case is from 68 the colour looks cherry sunburst in the photographs, but she is a typical T-burst with a slight lime streak near the toggle switch. Purchased from Norm's Vintage Guitars in California in 1988 by Chris Moore, who then sold it to the current owner in 1995, Max himself has verified that all the descriptions, the pickups are double black paths, the neck is nickel screwed non-path logo, I believe this is an early 57 and reads 7.73 K. The bridge is brass screwed with PAF decal and I believe the 5859 reads 7.7 K. The non-wire ABR bridge, lightweight aluminium tailpiece with long studs are also original 5859. Peter Max Baronet is now retired. He was one of America's elite guitar builders. He made a name for himself in Hollywood as a guitar builder and customizer. 
He's the builder of Slash's Guns N' Roses Appetite for Destruction, Les Paul, and the builder of the legendary Hunter Burst, once owned by Steve Hunter and Slash. Max had built for other legendary guitarists such as Eric Clapton, Eddie Van Halen, Nicky Six, Zach Wilde, Lenny Kravitz, and Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top, to name but a few. Say what you will about the white collar fakes, but even I can't deny that Max was a true connoisseur of the burst Les Pauls, and certainly went above and beyond to faithfully recreate them as accurately as anybody. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below and I'll be back just as soon as I can with the best content I can. In the meantime, as always folks, please stay safe and take good care. <laughs>